Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Hollywood actor threatens Baron, Melania sprints for the phone and calls in backup. The controversy surrounding children being allegedly separated at the border from their parents and family has made headlines. Everyone is talking about it and the vitriol is getting worse. The hatred and contempt being spewed by the left on this is absolutely disgusting. Nobody is immune, not even the first lady and the first family. Baron Trump was the latest victim in this tragedy. The Patriot Journal reported. Somebody needs to put a muzzle on Hollywood. These celebrities have just become completely unhinged, and are beyond disgusting and treasonous in their endless bashing of Donald Trump and the first family. Washed-up burnout Peter Fonda is the latest to open his fat, ignorant mouth and say something so horrendous, only twisted liberals would say it's fine. But it isn't fine. In fact, what Fonda said about Melania Trump's son, Barron, is so awful, that it actually prompted action from the office of the First Lady. From the Daily Caller the office of the First Lady has notified the Secret Service after actor Peter Fonda called for kidnapping Melania and Donald Trump's son, Barron, the Daily Caller has learned exclusively. In a tweet sent Wednesday, the actor called for Barron to be ripped from Melania's arms and put in a cage with pedophiles. Melania Trump's spokesperson for the First Lady, Stephanie Grisham, says this despicable message is irresponsible and definitely over the line. But it's hardly the first offense. Fonda, the actor that helped to define the counterculture, which, sadly, has systematically lowered an entire nation, posted another horrible tweet about Department of Homeland Security Secretary Christian Nielsen. In this vulgar tweet, Fonda said, Christian Nielsen is a lying gash that should be put in a cage and poked at by passers-by. The gash should be pilloried in Lafayette Square naked and whipped by passers-by while being filmed for posterity. Fonda further proposed that Press Secretary Sarah Sanders should have her three children kidnapped and locked in a basement. And of course, he couldn't say that without profane language, either. This is vintage liberal, right here. Act as disgusting and deplorable as possible, scream at the top of your lungs without citing a single verifiable fact, and then hilariously claim you're intellectually superior. No, you're just sick and twisted, like the rest of your ilk. Melania, you and your family deserve so much better than this, and we apologize on behalf of a country still filled with hideously behaved adults who act like children. Meanwhile, Numerous other conservatives have been targeted in a similar fashion that endangers their lives. Fox News reported. Far-left Splinter News tweeted out the personal cell phone number of White House senior advisor Stephen Miller, and a fading Hollywood star called for the president's youngest son to be dragged from his mother and put in a cage with pedophiles. That barely begins the hate fest. Canadian comedy writer Pat Dassault apologized after tweeting what appeared to be a disturbing threat to Donald Trump Jr.'s four-year-old daughter. Don't worry, we're coming for Chloe. Two, he wrote. Next, there was the widespread assault on U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement (ICE). Former Essex and the City star Cynthia Nixon, now seeking the Democratic nomination for governor of New York against Governor Andrew Cuomo, called the officers a terrorist organization. The anti-American journalism group WikiLeaks posted a database of ICE officers. Open Borders extremist and Border Angels founder Enrique Morones told the Beat with Ari Melber on MSNBC, Donald Trump without a doubt, is pure evil. Then for the coup de grace, New Yorker magazine staff writer and fact-checker Talia Lavin tried to ruin the career of a nice employee over a tattoo. She tweeted that she thought the elbow tattoo of wounded Marine veteran Justin Gartner was a Nazi Iron Cross. Turns out, it was the symbol of his unit in Afghanistan, where this hero also lost both his legs. Lavin resigned and apologized, but still found the gall to complain about ICE, which had complained about her. I do not think it is acceptable for a federal agency to target a private citizen for a good faith, hastily rectified error, she tweeted. Historically, first children are off-limits. Whether it was the Bush or Obama kids in recent years they have always been given a free pass by the media. However, it appears to that Baron Trump is not included in that group of kids. Apparently, being a Trump family member means that they are held to different standards and are not protected by the press which goes to show the lengths that the free press will go to in order to stick it to the president and get revenge on him for not being the Democrat that they wanted. But it is not just the kids that are being demonized. Almost every member of the president's administration has been having issues in the past few weeks. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was kicked out of the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia for working for the administration. While Christian Nielsen was heckled and protested at a Mexican restaurant while eating with her spouse. That was the news.
We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.